요즘 어떤 옷이 유행이에요? Hello everyone and welcome back to Quick Korean. Today we will be studying the section 요즘 어떤 옷이 유행이에요? Or what is in style these days? The topic of today's lesson is shopping. We will learn vocabulary related to shopping and presents and the grammar points 에게 and 어 주세요. After studying this lesson, you will be able to purchase items and be able to cut down prices in Korean. Lastly, in the culture section, we will explore Korean apparel stores. Well then, let's get started. First, listen carefully to today's dialogue. In today's dialogue, Chi Min goes to the clothing store to buy some clothes. At the clothing store, she makes a special request to the store employee. What kind of special request do you think she will make? Let's listen carefully to the conversation and find out. 요즘 어떤 옷이 유행이에요? 외국인 친구에게 선물할 거예요. 이 파란색 티셔츠 어때요? 네, 좋아요. 좀 깎아주세요. 그럼 2,000원 깎아드릴게요. So, were you able to understand the conversation? What kind of special request did Chi Min make? Right, she asked for a discount in price. Now, before taking a closer look at the conversation, let's first look at the vocabulary and grammar that come out in the dialogue. First, we have the vocabulary section for this lesson. Our first word here is 옷. Please read along and repeat after me. 옷. 옷. Now, if you look at this picture here, we have a skirt, a shirt, and some pants. Now, these are all examples of clothes, or in Korean, we would say 옷. Now, let's go ahead and read the word together one more time. 옷. Our next word here is 유행. Please read along and repeat after me. 유행. 유행. Now take a look at this picture here. On the left side here, you might recognize this person as the Korean rapper Psy. Now a lot of people these days are following his dance. So we could say Psy의 춤이 유행이에요. Or that Psy's dance is popular or a trend. Now, we can also use the word yuhang to describe a fashion trend. Now, let's go ahead and say this word together one more time. Yuhang. Now, our next word here is 외국인. Please read along and repeat after me. 외국인. 외국인. Now, a 외국인 or a foreigner is someone from a different country. So, you can see in the picture here, uh, Chunsu is talking with other foreigners. So let's go ahead and say the word together one more time. 외국인. Now our next word here is T-shirt. Please read along and repeat after me. T-shirt. T-shirt. Now you can see in the picture here, right here, this would be an example of a T-shirt or in Korean, the pronunciation would be t shirt Now let's go ahead and read the word together one more time. t shirt Now our next word here is 선물하다. Please read along and repeat after me. 선물하다. 선물하다. Now as you can see in the picture here, Jimin gives a gift to her friend. In Korean, we would say Jimin ga 친구에게 선물을 줘요. But we can also say 지민이가 친구에게 선물해요. So in other words, uh, this 선물하다 means to give a gift. So now let's go ahead and read the word together one more time. 선물하다. Now our next word here is 깎다. Please read along and repeat after me. 깎다. 깎다. Now, this article of clothing here is 20,000 won. But 
Chun Tzu ends up purchasing it for a little cheaper. In fact, he purchased it for 15,000 won. So you can see he saved 5,000 won. In Korean, we can say 5,000 원을 깎았어요, which literally means uh, the price was cut by 5,000 won. So let's go ahead and say the word together one more time. 깎다. Now, let's review the words that we just learned in this section. Now, in this picture here, we have a skirt, a shirt, a pants. These are all examples of what? Right, these would all be examples of what? Now, a lot of people are doing size dance these days. What word can we use to describe the dance? Correct, we could say you hang. Now in this picture, who is Chun Tzu talking with? Right, he's talking with people from uh, the different country. So how would we say that in Korean? Correct, we would say 외국인. Now in this picture here, what do we have? We have a t-shirt, or in Korean we would pronounce it t-shirt. Now, Chimin gave a present to her friend. In Korean, we can say 선물을 줘요. But we can also say it another way. What is that other way of saying it? Right, we can say 선물하다. Now, the price here is 20,000 won on this article of clothing. However, uh, Junsu here ends up buying it for 15,000 won, as you can see marked right there. So he saved a total of 5,001. What word can we use to say mark down? Right, the word would be 깎다. We can say 5천 원을 깎았어요. Excellent! 요즘 어떤 옷이 유행이에요? 외국인 친구에게 선물할 거예요. 이 파란색 티셔츠 어때요? 네, 좋아요. 좀 깎아주세요. 그럼 2,000원 깎아드릴게요. Now, let's take a closer look at the dialogue for this lesson. In today's dialogue, Jimin once again goes to the clothing store to buy some clothes. Last time, you remember, she went to buy some clothes for herself. This time, she goes to buy some clothes for her foreign friend. What do you think she's going to buy for her foreign friend? Well, let's take a look. First, Jimmy starts off by asking, 요즘 어떤 옷이 유행이에요? Or, what kind of clothes are in fashion? What, what's, in, uh, what's the trend lately? She also adds by saying, 외국인 친구에게 선물할 거예요. So we have this here, meaning she's going to give this as a gift to her foreign friend. So, how does the employee respond? The employee responds by showing her something and saying, 이 파란색 티셔츠 어때요? Or, how is this 파란색 t-shirt? So, how is this blue t-shirt? What do you think about it? So, how does Jimmy respond? She responds by saying, 네, 좋아요. So, it seems like she likes it, but she also makes a request. What does she say? She says, 좀 깎아주세요. Or, could you give me a little discount? So how does the employee respond? The employee responds, 그럼 2,000원 깎아드릴게요. Or, okay, then I will take off uh, 2,001 from the original price. So it looks like uh, Jimin will end up buying the t-shirt for a friend. So what do you think the friend will think about the t-shirt? Probably like it, right? Good. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the grammar for this section. Our first grammar point is this ege, as you saw from the dialogue. Now this ege is used to tell who or what some action is being done to. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example, and I think it will be a little more clear. So recall, in the dialogue, Jimin said, 외국인 친구에게 선물할 거예요. So if we look at this sentence here, what's the action? The action being done here is 선물할 거예요 or that 
she is going to buy a present. Now, who is she buying the present for? 외국인 친구. So, and so in other words, we could also ask this a different way. Who is receiving the present? Who is this present being given to? And the answer would be the same. It would be this 외국인 친구. So, whoever's on this receiving end, we use this 에게 to tell who's receiving the action. Uh, so in this case, you could see in this sentence, it's the foreign friend that's receiving the present. Or another way to look at it, she's going to give the present to her foreign friend. So let's go ahead and read through the sentence together. Please repeat after me. 외국인 친구에게 선물할 거예요. Great. Now let's take a look at another example. Our next example here is 고양이에게 우유를 줘요. So again, what's the uh, verb in this case? The action here is 줘요. So something's being given. But to who and what? So in this case, we have 고양이 or cat. So in other words, this 우유 or milk is being given to the cat. So since the cat is on the receiving end, we use this ege here to indicate that. Now notice here this ege can also be used in addition uh, to people. It can also be used to animals as you can see here like koyangi. So now let's go ahead and read the sentence together. Please repeat after me. Koyangi ege uyurul choyo. Great. Now, if we take a look at the usage here, this ege is used with subjects and nouns such as chingu and animals such as koyangi. And as you can see here, it's also used with aboji. And we attach this ege, ege, and here we attach ge to get, uh, to indicate who is receiving some action. Now, if we take a look at the first example here, we have chingu, and since we're given the present here to the friend, we add this ege to get chingu ege. So in other words, literally, to my friend. Now here we have koyangi, cat, and then here we add ege, so uh, it's to the cat, or the cat's the one receiving it. Now there's a little special case here, in the case of aboji. Notice we don't use ege, we have this ge. Now this ge is used when you want to show respect to the person receiving the action. So in this case, since aboji uh, means father, you want to show a little more respect, you want to describe a little more honorifically, you would add this ge to get aboji ge. Now let's go ahead and read through the examples together. Please repeat after me. 친구 에게 친구에게 고양이 에게 고양이에게 아버지 게 아버지 게 Well done. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the next grammar point. Our next grammar point here is 어아 주세요. So this 어아 주세요 is used when you want to make a polite request to someone. Uh, in English, you can think of it as saying, please do something for me. Now, if we take a look at the first example here, we have 좀 깎아주세요. Now here, what's the verb here? We have this 깎다, which means please reduce the price. And by adding this 주세요, uh, it's telling, please do this for me. So literally here, we have 깎아주세요 means please reduce the price for me. And this request was made by Chimin a little earlier, right? So let's go ahead and read through this example together. Please repeat after me. 좀 깎아주세요. Good. Now let's take a look at the next example here. We have 볼펜 좀 빌려주세요. Now here, 볼펜 here is ballpoint pen. And this 빌리다 here means to borrow or to lend. So let's say um, I'm taking a test and I need a pen, but uh, fortunately for me, I happen to 
not bring my pen that day. So I would want to ask one of my fellow students if I could borrow their pen. So I could ask them by saying, 볼펜 좀 빌려주세요. So you could see that here, this is the borrow, but by adding this 주세요, it's a little more polite. It's indicating, uh, like I said, in English, it's kind of like saying, please, and do it for me. So please lend the pen to me in this case. So let's go ahead and read through the sentence together. Please repeat after me. 볼펜 좀 빌려주세요. Great. Now let's take a look at one more example. Our next example here is 천천히 말해주세요. So as someone who's learning a foreign language, um, you might run into a native speaker and you find that they talk really fast. So you want to ask them, you know, please talk a little more slowly. Please slow down. So this sentence here would be very useful in that case. Now here, our verb here is, you can see here, the 말하다, or to speak. And by adding this 주세요, it's saying literally, please, for me, and, uh, speak a little slower. So it's making a polite request uh, to the person that's speaking. So let's go ahead and read through this together. Please repeat after me. 천천히 말해주세요. Excellent. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the usage of this grammar point. So as you can see here, this 주세요, 아오 주세요, is used together with action verbs such as 깎다, 빌리다, and 말하다. And if we look at the first case, we have 깎다. If you'll notice, the vowel here is 아, and if the vowel there before the 다 is either 아 or 오, we use the 아 주세요, as you can see right there to get us 깎아주세요. Now what about the next example here? We have 빌리다. Well, if we look at the vowel here, we have 이. And as you can see, uh, 이 is neither 아 nor 오, so it's neither these two. So we use 오 주세요 like this. Now again, this 이 and this 오 kind of combine, and if you say it fast, you get the E and all combined to yo, and you get what's on top here, 빌려 주세요. Lastly, in the case of these uh, verbs that end in hada, uh, we do it just like this. So you can see 말하다, it ends in hada here, and when you have a verb that ends in hada, uh, you add this yo to get 말하 yo 주세요. But again, uh, as you recall from previous lessons, when this ha and yo come together, uh, it shortens and becomes he, as you can see here. So we get my he chuseyo. Now let's go ahead and read through these together. Please repeat after me. Gakta, gakka chuseyo. Pilida, pilio chuseyo. Marada, mar he chuseyo. Well done. Now, let's take another listen to the dialogue for this lesson. 요즘 어떤 옷이 유행이에요? 외국인 친구에게 선물할 거예요. 이 파란색 티셔츠 어때요? 네, 좋아요. 좀 깎아 주세요. 그럼 2,000원 깎아 드릴게요. Now, let's take another look at the dialogue. This time, let's read through it together. Listen and repeat after me. 요즘 어떤 옷이 유행이에요? 외국인 친구에게 선물할 거예요. 이 파란색 티셔츠 어때요? 네, 좋아요. 좀 깎아주세요. 그럼 2,000원 깎아드릴게요. 네, 그럼 2,000원 깎아드릴게요. 네, 2,000원 깎아드릴게요. 네, 2,000원 깎아드릴게요. 외국인 친구에게 선물할 거예요. 
네, 좋아요. 좀 깎아주세요. 그렇 Now let's go through the dialogue once more. This time, you read the role of Jimin. This p a r a n s e t s h i r t is how? Then I'll give you 2,000 won. Well done. 지금까지는 Well, we would say, 친구에게 편지를 보냈어요. Now, Chunsu bought a present. As you can see in the picture here, he's holding the present in his hands. So why did he buy the present? Well, he wants to give it to someone, but who? Right, as you can see here in the thought bubble, there's his father, and the word for father is 아버지. So, Then how could we say that he wants to give a present to his father? Correct. We would say, 아버지께 선물을 드리고 싶어요. Now, recall, since it's his father, he uses a word that shows a little more respect. So therefore, he doesn't say 아버지에게, but instead says 아버지께. And instead of using 주다, he uses the word 드리다, as you can see right there. So let's go ahead and read this one more time. 아버지께 선물을 드리고 싶어요. Now, let's practice using 어 주세요, which we learned a little bit earlier. Take a look at the picture and fill in the response. So here, Mrs. Kim wants to buy a purse. She found one that she likes, so she asks, 이 가방이 얼마예요? Or, how much is the bag? Now, the employee here says, 이건 38만 원이에요. Or that it's 380,000 won. And so, Mrs. Kim responds by saying, 너무 비싸요. Or that it's too expensive. So, what, else, what do you think she would ask the employee since it's too expensive? Right. She would use, probably use the word kakta to ask, to take off a little from the price. So, she would say, 좀 깎아주세요. Now, here in this picture, the store employee greets Hejin. She says, 어서 오세요. 뭘 찾으세요? Or, and she asks what she's looking for. Now, Heijin, uh, in this case, came to buy a scarf. She wants to take a look at some scarves. So, what kind of request do you think she would make? Now, here, we can see that the verb here is 보이다, and 보이다 in English is to show. So, what kind of request do you think she would make to the store employee? She would say, 스카프 좀 보여주세요. Now in this picture, Junsu is talking with Hejin. So it's almost Hejin's birthday. So Junsu asks Hejin, 생일 선물로 무엇을 받고 싶어요? Or what do you want to receive? Now Hejin wants a 머리 핀 or hair pin. So she makes a request to Junsu. 머리 핀을 and you can see that the verb we want to use here is 사다. So if we put that all together, what would she say? She would say 머리 핀을 
사주세요. Great. Now it's time for listening practice. This conversation is between Jimin and the store employee. Jimin came to the store to buy some clothes. Why do you think Jimin came to buy clothes? Also, what kind of clothes do you think she will buy? Listen carefully to their conversation. 요즘 어떤 옷이 유행이에요? 어머니께 선물할 거예요. 이 노란색 스웨터는 어때요? 네, 좋아요. 좀 깎아주세요. <웃음> 그럼 5천 원 깎아드릴게요. Now, were you able to understand the conversation? Well, then let's answer a few questions to check your understanding. Our first question here, question number one, asks, 지민 씨는 누구에게 무엇을 선물하고 싶어요? Or, who does Jimin want to buy a present for? And, what does she want to give? Our answer choices here are 아버지께 티셔츠를 or T-shirt for her father and 어머니께 스웨터를 or a sweater for her mother. So, do you remember who she wants to buy the present for and what she wants to buy? Right, she wants to buy a sweater for her mother. So, the correct answer here would be 어머니께 스웨터. Now, our next question, question number two asks, 직원은 얼마를 깎아 주었어요? Or, how much did the employee cut from the regular price? Now, our answer choices here are 5,000 won, 5,000 won, or 6,000 won, 6,000 won. So, do you remember how much of a discount she got? Right, the employee cut off 5,000 won, so the correct answer would be 5,000 won. In Korean, we could say 직원은 5,000 원을 깎아 주었어요. Excellent! Now it's time for the Vocabulary Plus section. Here, we will look at more words related to shopping and gifts. Now, our first word here is 인기가 있다. Now, here you want to be a little careful because even though when we write the word, we write it like this, this second syllable here is actually pronounced with a tense consonant. So, we wouldn't say 인기, we would say 인기. So, let's go ahead and say the word together one more time. 인기가 있다. Now, many girls like this pair of shoes right here. So, you can see these girls are gathered around this pair of shoes. So, it is popular. Or we could say that, uh, we could say 인기가 있다. Or that it has popularity. So, about these shoes, we could say 여자들에게 아주 인기가 있어요. Or that it is really popular among the girls. Now, our next word here is 디자인이 좋다. Here, design refers to the clothing design. So, if we look here, we have people wearing clothes here. So, how is the design of these clothes? The design is good, or in Korean, we could say, 디자인이 좋다. So, what about the color? It's pretty as well. So, we can combine that and say, 디자인이 좋고, 색깔도 예뻐요. Now, our next phrase here is 선물을 받다. Now, today is Hejin's birthday. Therefore, her friends give her presents. From Hejin's perspective, she receives presents or 선물을 받다. So, we can say 생일날 선물을 받았어요. Or that she received presents on her birthday. Now, our next phrase here is 깎아주세요. Now here, this person went to go buy some clothes. However, the price of the clothes are too expensive. So he wants to purchase it at a lower price. So he can make a request to the employee by saying, 좀 깎아주세요. Now our next phrase here is 깎아드릴게요. So in the previous picture, the person asks for a discount by saying, so, the employee responds that she will 
do it for him. In fact, she will uh, lower the price for him. So she says, 좋아요, 깎아 드릴게요. Or, great, I will lower the price for you. Now our next phrase here is 보여주세요. Now the same person now went to go buy a hat. He found a hat that he likes, but he wants to look at a different design. So he would ask her, please show me or 보여주세요. He could also say, 다른 디자인도 좀 보여주세요. Or, please show me some other designs. Now our next phrase here is 포장해 주세요. Now this person here uh, bought something, and in fact, it's a gift for a friend. So he asked the employee to wrap it for him by saying 포장해 주세요. So he asked the employee, 예쁘게 포장해 주세요. Our next phrase here is 또 오세요. Here, this 또 means again, and the 오세요 right here means please come. So put it together, it means please come again. Now, the gentleman paid for the items and is on his way out. So the employee greets him by saying 다음에 또 오세요, or please come again next time. Now, let's practice using the words that we just learned. Take a look at this picture here. Lately, these shoes here are the trend. A lot of people like these shoes. So, when we present a question, 이 신발을 어때요? Or, how are these shoes? How can we respond to that question? By saying that they're popular. We would say, 인기가 있어요. Now, this gentleman here in the middle picture wants to buy these clothes, but for him it's too expensive. He wants to buy them for a lower price. The employee asks him, right here, 값이 너무 비싸요? Or, is it too expensive? How would the customer reply? He'd probably say something along the lines of, 네, 깎아주세요. Or, yes, please uh, reduce the price for me. Now he is going to get a gift for his friend and he wants to get it wrapped. So the employee asks, 선물 하실 거예요? Or, is this a gift? So how would the customer reply? Right, he would say, 네, 포장해 주세요. Or yes, please wrap it for me. Well done. Now let's read through this exercise one more time. 이 신발 어때요? 인기가 있어요. 값이 너무 비싸요? 네, 깎아주세요. 선물하실 거예요? 네, 포장해 주세요. Well done! Lastly, it is time for the Korean culture section. You all like to go shopping, right? Where do you usually shop for clothes? Well, today we will look at Korean apparel stores. Where do you think Korean people do their shopping for clothes? Let's take a look and find out. 한국의 옷가게. 한국에서 유행하는 옷을 보려면 서울 동대문의 대형 패션 의류 매장이나 남대문의 도소매 의류 시장에 가면 됩니다. 또한 강남 압구정동과 문정동의 로데오 거리에도 유명 옷가게들이 많이 있습니다. 정찰제 표시가 없는 곳에서는 주인과 옷값을 가지고 흥정을 해서 싸게 살수 있습니다. Now, let's go over what we learned today. Today's topic was shopping. We learned about vocabulary related to shopping and colors, and the grammar points, the marker un, and heat irregular verbs. Finally, in the culture section, we explored Korean markets and department stores. So, how do you feel? Do you think you can now buy items in Korean? Great! Well, this brings us to the end of this lesson. 
See you next time.